15 things you didn't know about Martha Stewart. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another original video presented by Alux.com. She is one of the most successful businesswomen of our time, a best-selling author, a media mogul, and a felon. Today we're talking about Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart was born in Jersey City, New Jersey on August 3rd, 1941. As a child, her mother taught her how to cook and sew, and her father taught her everything he knew about gardening. She earned a double degree in architectural history and history at Bernard College and married Andrew Stewart in 1961. Her husband started a publishing company shortly after they were married. While Martha started running a catering business out of her basement in 1976, and one of her clients was Alan Merkin, who was the head of Crown Publishing Group. He was so impressed with her culinary talents that he asked her to write a cookbook, and her career took off from there. She built her brand name and began publishing her magazine, Martha Stewart Living, which led to her daily television show. In March 2011, things took a turn. She was convicted of felony charges of conspiracy, obstruction of an agency proceeding, and making false statements to federal investigators based on insider trading, which only saved her $45,673 at the time. She was sentenced to five months in prison and two years of supervised release, including five months of electronic monitoring. She also had to pay fines totaling more than $225,000. In recent years, though, she's come back in a big way, and at the age of 75, she shows no signs of slowing down. Now let's just get into it. 15 Things You Didn't Know About Martha Stewart Number 1. She Became a Billionaire in One Day in 1997, Martha consolidated all of the television, print, and merchandising aspects of her brand into one company named Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. Her company went public on the New York Stock Exchange on October 19, 1999, and by the end of the day, Martha had become a billionaire, worth $1.6 billion. She remembers driving down Madison Avenue that day thinking that she could buy anything she wanted on the street. Years later, she spoke of her regrets, saying she should have stopped and shopped and enjoyed the moment, but she was too busy working. Number 2. She has been struck by lightning three times. On a 2016 episode of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, Martha revealed that she has been struck by lightning three times. When Ice Cube asked her if she thought God was trying to kill her, she simply responded that she wasn't religious. Number 3. She has been banned from the UK In 2008, Martha Stewart had scheduled a trip to the UK where she planned to speak at the Royal Academy of Arts, meet with several businesses, and film a few episodes of The Martha Stewart Show. Her plans had to be abandoned once she was denied entry into the UK based on her criminal history. The UK government defended their refusal by saying they continued to oppose entry into the UK for those found guilty of serious criminal offenses abroad. Number 4. Her favorite meal is scrambled eggs. Martha has put thousands of recipes into print and has made countless meals on her television shows and in guest appearances on other shows, but this domestic diva has a surprising favorite dish, scrambled eggs. Number 5. She owned 8 different properties at one point. One of the greatest indications of Martha's wealth is her real estate. She once had one of the most expensive collections of real estate in the world, which comprised of eight different properties, including two Manhattan apartments, two houses in the Hamptons, a home in Westport, Connecticut, a 153-acre farm in Bedford, New York, and her famous main estate, Skylands. Number 6. She used to babysit the children of Mickey Mantle and Yogi Berra. When she was 10 years old, Martha used to babysit for the children of some Yankee legends. She would occasionally watch the children of Yogi Berra, Mickey Mantle, and Gil McDougald. One of her earliest experiences in party planning was planning the birthday parties of Mickey and Marilyn Mantle's four sons. Number 7. She used to be a stockbroker. In 1967, she joined her father-in-law's profession as a stockbroker, and she worked on Wall Street until 1971. She was one of the only female stockbrokers at Pearlberg Mames. Williams and Seidel, and one of her fellow brokers, was up-and-coming film and TV star Brian Dennehy. Number 8. She Paid for College by Modeling 
Martha began modeling when she was just 15 and she had some high profile jobs. She appeared in a commercial for Unilever and one for Tourette and Cigarettes. She also did some work for Chanel. She continued modeling through college to help pay for her tuition. Her greatest exposure came in 1961 when Glamour magazine named her one of America's 10 best dressed college girls. Number 9. She is America's first self-made female billionaire. When Martha's company went public in 1999, she became America's first female self-made billionaire. She has since been joined by Oprah, who became a billionaire in 2004, and about 20 other women that include the owner of Lil Caesars, the former CEO of eBay, and Facebook's chief operating officer. Number 10. Her favorite hip-hop artist is Eminem. Martha is a big fan of hip-hop music. She and Snoop Dogg have had a number of rappers on their collaborative television show, including Ice Cube, Wiz Khalifa, Rick Ross, and 50 Cent. She has been known to hang out with various rappers in the past as well. In 1997, she presented an MTV Music Award alongside Busta Rhymes. She met Kanye at a restaurant, and he came to her office the following day to talk about branding. Diddy came on her show to teach her how to rap. You can look that one up on YouTube. Martha says that her favorite hip-hop artist has always been Eminem. And if you like rap music as much as Martha does, click on the upper right-hand corner to check out our video, The Top 15 Richest Rappers in the World. Number 11. She always carries fresh lemons when traveling. Most of us have one or two must-have items when we're traveling, and for Martha, this is fresh lemons. She is always sure to bring her own supply just in case they don't have any on the plane. Number 12. She has written over 80 books. At the age of 75, Martha has written a total of over 80 books. Her first book, called Entertaining, was published in 1982. It's no surprise that the majority of her publications are cookbooks, including Martha Stewart's Tarts and Pies, Martha Stewart's Quick Cook Menus, and Martha Stewart's Christmas. Her latest book, Martha Stewart's Appetizers, was published in 2015. Number 13. She dated Anthony Hopkins. After her marriage ended in divorce in 1990, Martha kept her love life pretty quiet until she publicly announced she was joining Match.com in 2013 at the age of 71. She has admitted to briefly dating Sir Anthony Hopkins. While dating him, she watched Silence of the Lambs, the movie Hopkins won an Academy Award for his portrayal of cannibalistic serial killer Hannibal Lecter. But apparently that killed all the romance, because she couldn't separate the actor from his role and she ended the relationship soon after. Number 14. She had a prison nickname. Martha served her time at the federal prison camp in Alderson, West Virginia, nicknamed Camp Cupcake because of its relatively cushy atmosphere for a prison. Prisoners are required to hold jobs in the facility, but Martha Stewart's request to work in the kitchen was denied. She instead was put to work mopping floors and cleaning toilets. With her other time, Martha says she taught yoga, picked wild dandelion greens, and learned to appreciate the simple virtues of vending machine chicken wings. She acclimated well to prison life and made friends with several of her fellow inmates, who gave her the nickname M. Diddy. Number 15. She sleeps only four hours a night at most. Martha says she wishes there was a way she could go without sleeping altogether as she sees it as just a waste of time. Instead, she sticks to the bare minimum, sleeping only four hours or less a night. It has also been reported that she sleeps with a light on so she can get right back to work when she wakes up. She admits that she has cat naps now and then, but says that she's still thinking while she naps, so it's not a waste of time. Martha has said that her sentence was extra harsh because she was a celebrity. Do you think that's right? Let us know in the comments. Oh, you're still here? Fine, here's a bonus fact for you for watching till the end. Martha says her guilty pleasure is eating slices of American cheese that come individually wrapped in plastic. She says she steals them from her housekeeper's stash. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.